Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Alcatraz style prison. Let's get my headphones comfy. There we go. So, today I want to work on the power situation on the island, which is going to be located here, as we found out last episode. But this is quite funny, really, because we're, we're doing some power for the prison when the city itself, the, the main island, the main city itself, doesn't have any power yet. I don't know how we're going to do that. On the first series of Let's Build the City, I made giant wind turbines. They look totally awesome. In The Simpsons, obviously, we've done the nuclear power plant. And uh, we've done a coal plant before on something as well. This one, we're going to be using coal because I've got a really cool idea. I think for the main city, I might use wind turbines again because I can just imagine them on the uh, on the mountain. It would look so sick. So I might do that again. I don't know. not going to think about it for the moment. I want to focus on the prison one though today. So, let's get some stone brick. As you can see from my uh, inventory, I've got a bunch of sort of redstone related stuff today. The redstone isn't super simple, isn't super easy, but hopefully we'll be able to do it in a way that at least makes a little bit of sense. I'm hoping, at least. I would really like to hide this redstone up as much as possible as well. So I'm not going to really plan out the building's shape in too much detail. Because it's likely to change when we try and fit redstone in. But basically, the premise is... We're going to have a door somewhere around here. Somewhere there. Uh, this area is going to be sort of computers and monitoring and stabilizing and stuff like that. And then down here is going to be the main sort of coal power plant. We're going to be using coal for this coal power plant of the place. Okay, we'll have another door down here. Probably on this side to be honest so it's closer to the path. Now, what I want to happen is I want to use obviously a furnace here. But I, I want the engine to go. Like, like normally when we do... Um, engines and stuff like in the cruise ship we had a lever and if we turn the lever on the engine would start and if we turn the lever off the engine would stop well with this one I only want the engine to go or the generator to work if the furnace is on so there's some problems that we have straight off the bat okay if I put a comparator at the back here and if I put anything in here I could put a piston in the in the fuel uh, part of it and as you can see the comparator lights up for one uh one redstone dust same as if i put take it out it turns off as you can see and if i put it in the top it lights up i don't want that now what you could say is well aj if you had a repeater on the third one it wouldn't matter that it's lit up here because as soon as you put like a full stack into the bottom bang, it then lights up enough because there's enough items in there to make the comparator to do that next jump to the next amount of redstone dust. But I don't want that because that means that this generator will turn off as soon as the coal gets low enough to probably around 20, which is still a lot left because when it gets down to that number, suddenly the redstone won't reach that repeater so what we need to do instead is we need to make something called a bud switch now some of you might have heard of these before you might have used them before uh, but some of you might not have a bud switch is a block update detection switch and it's sort of a bug in minecraft but can be used for some really useful stuff so what we're going to do is i'm going to put down my furnace do i want it on the floor or off the floor would it be better to have it on the floor or one up this is to load the fuel in Let's have it one off the floor, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a piston. Where did that piston go? Has it just? Is it in my inventory? I do. I'm going to put the piston directly behind it. Now obviously at the moment this isn't going to do anything. I can open this up. I can break it and it doesn't do anything. I can place it. The piston's never going to move. But if I do some finagly stuff here. If I put like a, a torch here with a block on top. Two blocks here. Redstone that comes along here goes up a block this is why I, I wasn't quite sure how big the building needed to be obviously that wall is going to have to come out by one more block to hide this redstone and then it's going to come back towards here with a repeater and now ooh, what happened there when we place the uh, furnace down it moves and when we break the furnace it moves how weird is that? I actually want this facing the other way, though. 
because then we can hopefully hook something up to this. So let's have it, oops, off this side instead of this side. And flick, oops, this piston around this way. Like that. Then I should be able to come off with it. So basically what this does now is if I get some sticks, let's say we're using sticks to burn our our stuff with and I get have I got any logs or anything to burn I've got one log so if I put the log in here nothing happens you didn't hear no piston go off nothing triggered but if I put a stick in here boom did you hear that the piston moved because it's lit up once the sticks burn out it'll go again like that so it's gonna it's gonna activate once when it turns on and activate again when it turns down. Now, I'm not, not going to go into too much detail in how it does this, but it basically means that the game thinks that the furnace has changed. And although it technically hasn't changed, it's still a furnace, in the game, a, a, a turned off furnace is a different ID to a turned on furnace. And because they're different IDs, they're technically a different block. And because of various glitches in the game and how Minecraft is, is built, it sends out a redstone signal. I don't really 100% understand why. But I'm hoping that because of this, we can actually come off here and potentially use a pulse off this to trigger... To trigger... A T flip flop would be nice. Like, could I, if I had a piston here, this is going to take a little bit of experimenting, but let's say I had a piston there and a block there. If I done this again, okay, that pushed it forward. That's good. Is it going to suck it back? It did. Sweet. I need some more logs. I want to test it again. I want to make sure this consistent. Perfect. So it pushed the block forward one. And then pushed the block back one. Now we should be able to now use that to be able to turn on and off an engine. Or well, to turn on and off a clock, technically. Like, if I had that there, this is currently off, so we want this in the off state. So if I put another torch there, so I, I told you it's a little bit complicated. When you break it down into its own separate components, it's very simple. But at first, it does look a little bit complicated. As I said, this wall is going to have to come out by one. I'm going to remove these so you guys can sort of see where the wall needs to sort of change. But then we'll have a piece of redstone on there, which will go to a clock. I want this to run a clock. Now, what's the easiest way to run a clock? It doesn't really matter how fast this clock runs. So, we could have something like that. I should be able to slow the clock down when I need to anyway. I don't think that will power the piston. No, okay. So, we've got ourselves a clock here that we can slow down. There we go. So we want though ah uh, this is the off position. When it's when it's on top of the torch, it turns the clock off. But when it's away from the block, well from the piston, the clock's turned on. Sweet. That's really, really good. So now, for example purposes, our engine for the moment can just be a piston. Boom, and there's our oh, itchy nose. There's our engine. I had an itchy nose all day. It's crazy. It's like it's like there's a bug eating it or so. That's disgusting. Don't talk about that. So this is our engine right here. As you can see, when the furnace is off, the engine is not running. There's nothing for the uh, for the generator to burn in order to create power. But if I put a stick in, there you go. The generator powered uh, until. The fuel ran out. Now we can extend how much fuel is in here by adding better fuel. So we could add a piece of coal. Well, I've got coal here. If I added a piece of coal. Now basically that engine is going to go until this flame runs out. Okay. 
So that'll just go on forever. So we can actually make uh, a decent amount of, of, of well, of fake power here. We can add hoppers on top to load in fuel to keep it going. We can do all sorts. Very, very cool. So now we want to make this look a little bit more like an engine. Maybe have something. Have two? I wouldn't mind having two. Yeah, you can turn off though. Let's take that away. Just to reset it. Just because that is driving me a little bit insane. We'll reset that back as well. So we want to have two pistons running hopefully at different times. Do you want them facing out of the wall? Yeah. Like stairs. These ones could look pretty. If that goes the right way, it does. Okay, yeah. So we'll have those ones. And these ones. And then some sort of blocks on the side. Uh, iron block. No. We should probably use the iron blocks to move. Um. Okay. Yeah, no wall. Wall. We'll put walls here and here. Then we need a block behind those. Um, I don't want to use stone brick. I want to use something else. Uh, there we go. Grey wool. That should work out pretty well. So we'll have that behind here and here. Then we want the pistons to go here and here with, I think I want a block of iron. Oh, oh, lag spike. A block of iron there and there. But we want one of them to be up while the other one is down. So to do that, we can have a block here with a torch on it. And on this one, we can just have a repeater. And a redstone on there. And I think that'll work. It might not be perfectly opposite. I don't know yet. Let's give it a go. So we want... Have I got sticks still? I do have sticks. I haven't got nothing to burn though. Let's get a stack of something so I don't have to do this anymore. Put that in there. Let's put a stick in. Hey. Hey. There's our little generator. Oh, and it, but it did flick at the end. It sent one pulse at the end. Okay. That shouldn't matter really. No. Okay, just at the end of the of the burn, it sends one pulse. So it's just going to glitch out that little bit. I'm not really that worried about it. Unle Unless we used gravel. Gravel doesn't look quite look quite as cool, but it will fall. Actually, the gravel does look pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks like grinded or burn up stuff, doesn't it? Ash, almost like ash. Okay, if that if that's the case, then we need to hide up any spots where we can sort of see through. Obviously, at the back we can see through. Um, if we used glowstone, if we use glowstone, maybe it'll look like um, there's a flame or something behind it. Oh, I can still. Can I? Is there any way that I can get rid of that? Like I can, I can see through just that little tiny little spot. Slab. I can get rid of the top ones. You can have it like that. Or use the slab that sort of matches. Like that. Maybe put these in upside down. No, I like that. See, it. it covers up that hole. You can we can no longer see down there. Or carpet. Maybe carpet's just thick enough. No, carpet's not quite thick enough. But I think I do like that better. No. No, I don't know. I think I like that better. We can see one torch, but that's like the best that we can really do. I can't I can't put a block there at all. No, I can't. I can't. Not unless we went underneath it. We powered it from underneath. 
uh, like a torch there. Yeah, good. That doesn't power the wrong one or anything silly like that. Trouble is, is that this is now getting a little bit awkward uh, to to build. <laughs> it should be okay. Though. It'll look better, I think, if we can just hide that one up uh, like that. Oh, no. That's not going to work. That's not going to go into the torch. I need it to go that way. Oh, no, 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 like that. That'll do. Let's do it with a proper block, though. That should work. Let's power this again. Yeah, okay, so we've got this um, opposite. And we should be able to now just cover that block up there. We don't need to cover the other one up because by default it's down, so you can't see it. If I powered it, you could... Oops, you could technically... Ugh, see through just a little bit, but... I mean, is there anything? No, 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 there is. If I move this repeater down by one block, I put that there, put a repeater there, then put the block there. Now it's completely covered up and we shouldn't ever be able to see anything. Yeah, beautiful, completely hidden. I love it. So there's our generator. Now, obviously, the outside wall just needs to be a smidge larger like that makes this the shape look a lot more interesting as well um, obviously we want to hide up everything else along here as well I think if we put that up there like that that just breaks that up to the computers and stuff like that or up, up to the furnace area uh, we would I would like to have maybe coal blocks here as like, why do I select more than one on creative mode? Uh, I'm going to have to do all of that to do that. And then if we grab these ones again. I can't put a block there. There's, there's going to be some very uh, uh, strange spots that I'm not going to be able to place anything on. Let's do it like that. That's looking really cool. Like, like, yeah, that looks like coal storage. And then we'll have it like, oops, like this. Oh, let's have that in the top there, just to break that up a little bit. That looks pretty cool, right? They look like little shelves as well that we might be able to, like, um, that you might put some stuff on. But yeah, you can just power it. And that'll burn now for 51 sticks. I love it. I know it's a little bit different. I know we didn't really do much this episode. But it is a really fun thing to have. It brings so much more life to a build when you get stuff that actually moves and actually does stuff. Uh, I really, really enjoy doing that kind of thing. Uh, let's, um, let's very quickly, though, uh, grab ourselves the wand. And turn that off. There we go. <laughs> it's it's fun, but it drives you insane when you're trying to talk at the same time. And uh, we want to basically do exactly the same blocks as what we used on the prison. I want it very dull, very prison-like again. So we want to do set to 112, one, what was it? 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 1398, 2. Was that the number? I didn't get any stone brick in there, but it is on a very small scale, remember? Oh, yeah, no, I did get it right. The command is right. How crazy is that? Uh, but I think I want m more of the other blocks this time, strangely enough. I think I want there to there. I'm going to take out a couple of 112s. And then we should we should get a, a, a higher chance of of the other blocks. Like that one, like that one, like that one, and we're nearly there. Uh, let's go all the way across, and then I can cut the door out again. Oh, <laughs> the door pretty much cut itself out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. 
that one to that one also we've got computers and stuff to do but there's i don't think there's going to be anything else moving in here um now i think we've done all the all the moving parts take that out that one and finally this one we don't want any we don't want any windows here uh in this building windows would not make sense at all uh however we do want to keep with it the same the same pattern a universal pattern throughout the prison it'll make it look really good not on all the buildings like the wardens uh the wardens prison and stuff will look a, a little bit different it won't be like these gray blocks i'm not going to say it's going to look more colorful because that's sort of the, the wrong word to have on a, an island prison uh, a little bit more nice so shall we say a nice to to live in so we'll have this coming around the top but i do like this gray look this dull gray look there we go slab that was annoying me down this side i might do something more interesting with the uh, roof to this as well just for this episode i'm just going to cover it up with the slabs that we do on the other place i might make this a little bit more interesting though i don't know we'll we might be here next episode to finish this off as well uh, to finish off the inside and the outside and uh, i want to start once we've sort of got the blueprint down for all the small houses i really want to get the trees in because the trees make the place look so much better uh instantly so we'll put these around the top these are a lot easier than the stairs because you don't need to get them at that correct angle you just need to make sure you don't place two on top of each other like that <laughs> down this way this one okay beautiful now in the middle i think we're going to use the same slabs as before which is a uh, 44 6 i'm pretty sure that one to that one just for a test set or oh, replace air uh, with 44 6 yeah that's the one that one to that one that one to that one that one to that one and that's all of them beautiful so there we have a little power plant I want the building to look a little bit more interesting from the outside. It does look a little bit just flat and and, and, and boring. I want to, to do something else to make it maybe look a bit more like a power plant or something. I don't know. But already, it's making the island look so much better with the more buildings around the place. I want it to look really full. I want it to look really busy. I want it to look really cramped and compact and you know not very nice place to be. I want it to look like that. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.